TI4 was at least disappointing. After the event, almost everyone felt crushed. But last week has been one of the best Dota weeks we have ever seen, at least during this patch. And according to some really powerful people, this patch indeed has been awesome. So, how is this possible? To understand it better, we have to take a look on a greater scale. Wow. When 6.80 came out, Icefrog received a lot of praise from the community for making almost any hero viable and creating tons of diversity, which is actually correct in comparison to some previous patches we have had. After 4 months of playing and testing, we got our 6.81 that gave us some tweaks to existing at the moment metagame. The patch was quite big, but its purpose was to polish the game before the TI4 qualifiers. But there are some crucial buffs. My net pull size been increased up to my ex girlfriend's radius, along with Skyboy Movement's debuff and Anchor Smash. Sky run heaven. So, we went to TI4 qualifiers having a decent patch already and after it, the game has been tweaked again, nerfing tier 1 heroes and just tuning overall balance of the game. For some reason, Sky Mage and Enigma got further buffs which are pretty huge and my best guess is Icefrog wanted to see black holes and mystic flares at the event because exciting and flashy oh stuff no is fun. Well. Combine all of these and boom, you got TI4 meta. There is no new patch following TI4 as you see. But the metagame is something that does not require a patch, it will continue to evolve as the time passes and players find a new ways to play the game. Take for example Blade Mail Nature's Prophet. In short, some random guy got tired of those cancer heroes in pubs like Sky, Tinker and Faceless Void and he came up with this particular playstyle. And it does work. So this is how I see metagame. You have a game, completely solid, polished, deep and highly complex game. At first, no one has a clear picture of what is the best way to play it, how to win and what you have to expect. But after a while, someone comes up with a good draft that proves being superior. Other teams pick this up and in a day you have lots of people working towards how do we play against that. Of course you can ban and deny those picks intermingling the pool, but with time and practice eventually someone comes up with a new meaningful connection to this network, essentially creating a new round of drafting. Today, teams evolved to the point that right now Dota is a different game from what we have seen at TI4. Not completely, but still a slightly different game. To be honest, I like the fact the game hasn't been patched immediately based on TI4 gameplay, but Icefrog giving the players some time to innovate just to see the next turn in metagame and only then tweak it accordingly.